So to create a category, just make sure you're in the product section. And then you just need to click on categories. Then click add category. Give your category a name. And then enter in your tax rate. So in my tax rate, uh, let's just say it's 8.5%. I'm going to enter it in like so. And it gives you a field for a delivery tax rate and a takeaway tax rate. This is for regions that may charge different uh, tax for these type of orders. But uh, if in your area you just charge the same amount, just make sure you repeat it. But you do want to make sure that you are putting something in this section um, so that Lightspeed will calculate the tax on those kinds of orders as well. Here you can also set a default course number. So if you do table service, a typical example might be your appetizers uh, for the first course, your mains for the second course, and your desserts for the third course. Uh, but you always have an option to rearrange the coursing when you're actually using the POS as well. If you do quick service, you can just leave everything as course one. And then if you want to, you can select a printer template. So this is if you want it to print, say, on a bar ticket or a kitchen ticket. So I'm going to select my kitchen template so that my desserts print to the kitchen. Then here, if you click on uh, zero modifiers, you'll see all the modifiers that are available to attach to this category. So if you haven't created your modifiers yet, you'll need to go up to click on modifiers. Um, but any modifiers that you've already created will be available here. So for instance, I'm going to attach the note to this category. If you wanted to, you can actually make your category invisible. Um, so then it will appear grayed out. So this just means that it won't be visible in the POS, but that category is still there in your account. You can click on the image to select a different image, or you can also click on choose file and upload your own category images. And then in the advanced section, you have an option to write a description for your category. And then you also have an option to write a category type. Um, so this is for your reports. For example, if I want my desserts to go under my food revenue, I just need to make sure I type in food as the type. And then I would just also need to make sure that any other categories that I want to go under the food revenue also have food written in the exact same way as their type. And then all you need to do is click OK to save. And if you want to rearrange the order of your categories, just come up here and, cl and click on Enable Sorting. And then that will allow you to drag and drop. 